Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Kudemo, and look, Chris is back. Hey he, guys, what's up? He's over his cold. Yeah, I had a sinus thing and a chest cold, and it just kicked my butt the last couple of days. But I'm back. Alright, so uh, as we've done in our past, uh, currently uh, everyone in our organization, from top to bottom, including... Everyone from the Nashville Predators to the Florida Everglades and anywhere in between, meaning Milwaukee, <laughs> um, is doing something to help raise money for um, the Nashville Strong Initiative um, as the tornado ripped through Central Tennessee. You could donate to uh, the uh, Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee, or you could go to NashvillePredators.com slash Nashville Strong. It'll give you a right link to uh, Nashville tickets, and you could donate there, or you could buy... Um, from hockey, uh, the was it the Nashville locker room, um, Nashville strong shirts as well. Um, beyond that, uh, speaking of our goodwill, check out our friends at Wausau, Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association. Um, they do everything from sled hockey to uh, quad rugby, uh, wheelchair wheel basketball, wheelchair basketball, uh, rug wheelchair rug quad rugby. Um, What's quad rugby? It's, uh, I don't know, I think that's those wheelchairs with the little slant in the wheels. Oh. But I'm not sure. Um, anyway, uh. The slant wheels, they use those wheelchairs for wheelchair basketball. Correct. Um, also they have, uh, goalball, uh, wheelchair lacrosse, tennis, and bowling. Um, you can check them out at wasa.org and click their donate button. Um, you could also donate to them through Amazon Smile and as well as um, buying one of Oscar Mike's shirts from their website. Oscar Mike is a veteran founded um, uh, um, organization, nonprofit. Uh, they do stuff to help veterans get into sports as well. It's nice to see the two working together. Um, and speaking of working together, we always have our sponsor we work together with, and that's our buddies over at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or you can call them at 414-800-7585, or what website can they go to? Uh, HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. You can get all your hockey essentials and referee gear, plus you can get your uh, skid sharpened, you yep. can get retro hockey jerseys, uh, yeah. They will outfit you from head to toe for uh, for those of you that play hockey, and from uh, head to uh, about belly, uh, about waist level for uh, your fan your fandom. If you don't want to buy breezers, then it can go a little lower. Yeah, <laughs> but always check out our friends over at Hockey Logger. Now, today, tell them that we sent you. So uh, yeah, yeah. Always mention us there. They like that. They like to know that their money is going into good hands. Yep. That way they know uh, we're not ripping them off. Alrighty. Also, so today the Nashville Predators played in Montreal. There was, a, um, first off I want to say, um, rest in peace to Henry Richard. Um, he, he was the Rockets' brother, correct? Yes. Um, he was, uh, he also led, led the team in assists all the way up to the 80s. Didn't that guy have like 13 Stanley Cups? Yeah. That man was on a lot of cup teams. Yeah, well, Montreal won 13. Oh, well, yeah. Um, that's why they're the, the leading in. The, ain't nobody going to catch them. No. Um, Who's second on that list? Pittsburgh. Really? And then Chicago. And then Detroit. Wow. Yeah, but I can't believe that. 13 cups. Well, Actually, I think it's Chicago, teams. then Pittsburgh, then Detroit. Yeah, what team did Maurice Bouchard play for? Same team. They were playing together. Oh, well, they had brother. Kind of like the Sedins, but they were the Bouchards. And the uh, Prayers at one point both had both Santorellis. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this was a good game. Uh, it got a bit sketchy in the third period, though. But it did. Sorrow stood on his head, as uh, lately he has been. Um, he climbed into second. Um all-time and shutout time minutes uh, with 183 minutes and 42 seconds. Uh, first place is Dan Ellis, and then Pekka Rene holds fourth, third and fourth. Speaking of Pekka, what's up with him? 
He hasn't played since that game we uh, last Monday. I think uh, he's just letting Saros run. Saros is the hot hand. Why not go with him? I hope that wasn't the last that we've seen of him. I nope, like, it won't I like be. Packer. It won't be because he'll he'll come if he doesn't retire. He'll come back next year stronger. He likes to do that. Okay. Um, shots were even at 36-34. Faceoffs were even at 62-38. It's a miracle. The Predators got a power play goal. Well, I care to read that. One for four on the power play. Yeah, folks, that's right. I said it. They were one for four. Um, also, uh, the Canadians were 0 for 2. They had eight penalty minutes to Nashville's four. Canadians uh, were out hitting us. Like, they hit the crap out of us. 36 hits for the Canadians, 17 for the Predators. They out physical us. However, we out blocked them 27 to 8. So we Ouch. blocked 27 shots to their 8, which is probably why the score is the way it is. But we had 16 giveaways and they had 14. So Wasn't the cleanest. That's game. almost a wash, the giveaway department. Yep. Uh, so scoring in the first <laughs> was Ryan Johansson with. His 14th with an assist from Phil Forsberg, his 27th, and Victor Arvidsson, his 13th. Yeah, this is the second period, by the way. Yep, no scoring in the first. Uh, uh, then we had Kelly Yarncroft with his 15th with an assist from Terrace, his 22nd. Um, if you want to read the next two or three, go for it. One, five, two. Uh oh. We froze. Uh oh. Very good. We're good on camera. It's just our. Uh, uh, what it do? It's unresponsive. We. Hang on. Technical issue. Uh, hello, everybody. We fixed our technical issues. So, uh, who scored that uh, third Predators goal? Uh, uh, third. Oh, yeah. The third Predators goal would be uh, Phil Forsberg with his 20th, with an assist from Roman Yossi, his 48th, and Craig Smith, his 13th. Show off the jersey. Why not? You're wearing a Craig Smith jersey. Yep. And then Phil Forsberg again gets, in his, uh, gets a goal with his 21st. Uh, Forsberg's 20th goal, that was a power play goal. This goal, it was Forsberg is 21st, Roman Yossi is 49th, and then Ryan Ellis is 30th. Thank you. Next. Go. Oh, and then Arturi uh, Lukonen, he had his 13th of, the, uh, 13th of the year with an assist from Olet, his second, and Suzuki, his 28th. And then uh, Lucas Valdimo scored his first of the year straight out of a call-up from the AHL with an assist from Dale Weiss, his, uh, his Are fourth. Are you sure it's Weiss or is it a Weiss? Weiss. Weiss. Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, then Evan scored his first. I hope man heard you say that. We spice. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I hope you heard that. He's gonna pump. He's gonna pump your own right. <laughs> All right. Uh, then we got uh, goaltenders. Where UC Soros had 32 saves on 34 shots with a .941 save percentage. And then we had Carey Price stopping 20, 32 of 36 with a .889 save percentage. Still uh, not a bad game for Carey Price. He is a legit Hall of Fame goalie. If he ever can get out of the first round of the playoffs. That does count. Yeah, I suppose. Um, uh, referees were Eric Furla and Pierre Lambert. Linesmen were Steve Barton and Michael Carmier. Uh, head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Head coach for Montreal is Claude Julien. Scratches for Nashville. Really? Claude Julien's in Montreal, no? Yeah. Um, Nashville scratches were Dan Ham, here's Yannick Weber, Colin Blackwell, and Austin Watson. Uh, Montreal was uh, Carl Alsner, Tomas Tatar, who's day to day with an injury, and Jonathan Druid, who's also day to day with an oh, injury. Oh, Tater is still playing? Yes. Wow, Tater is still playing. I always call him Tater just because. Alright, so. Taters. Up next we have. Oh no. Why you? So up next for the Predators is the Toronto Maple Leafs in Toronto. Um, they are currently. Where are they in the standings? Yeah. 
that's one of those things you always gotta know. Are they in? Are they out? What's going on? Well, we wait for that. Who's their top line? On the top line, you got Zach Hyman. Uh, in his last five, he has uh, one goal. Then uh, Austin Matthews, their uh, center. He has three goals and an assist in his last five. Uh, William Nylander, two goals, zero assists. Uh, their second line, I mean, John Tavares is... John Tavares and Mitch Marner are each got three assists. Uh, Marner has a one goal. Uh, they're getting nothing out of their third line. Or their or fourth forward. line. Well, their fourth line, who they got? Go up to their fourth line. Uh, Frederick Guthier. He has a goal. Yeah, that's about it. They're not really looking that good. On defense, it's the same thing. This is over the last five. What these? Oh, uh, what are these uh, teams looking? What does this team? And look most like of their points are coming on the power play, per the usual. Yeah. Um, in net, you got uh, Frederick Anderson, who has uh, two zero and one in his last in the last five. He has a point nine two or ninety seven percent uh, save percentage, and or nine. Oh, oops. A .97 goals against average and a 96.7 save percentage with one shutout. Then on the other end, we have Jack Campbell. He is 0 for 2 with a 3.1 goals against and a 90.8 save percentage. Um, so that's them right now. Um, for them, uh, uh, Morgan Riley is day-to-day. -day. That's the only uh, other thing we have to uh, kind of keep an eye on. Toronto sitting currently at 81 points. Third in the Atlantic with uh, 70 games played, 36 wins, 25 losses, 9 overtime losses. In their last five, in their last 10, they are 5 4 and 1. They currently are on a one game win streak. Nashville Predators are currently sitting atop the top wild card spot with 78 points, with 69 games played, 35 wins, 26 losses, and 8 overtime losses. So they have an identical record. What's Toronto's record against us? Uh, I believe we are one and zero against zero and one against them. Um, in the land, Nashville's last ten, they are six three and one. They are currently riding a three game win streak, which is a good thing. Do it for the city. Um, currently Dallas is getting blanked by the Rangers four to nothing. In the third, uh, the Vancouver's beating the Islanders two to one in the first. Uh, ooh, whoa, whoa. Anaheim's beating Ottawa 3-0 in the first. Uh, Toronto beat uh, Tampa, Tampa Bay 2-1. Um, so that was a tough battle. Pittsburgh beat New Jersey. Um, those were the games for today that matter. Tomorrow, uh, we have Chicago versus the Sharks, Edmonton versus Winnipeg, St. Louis versus Anaheim. Colorado and the Rangers, and then Ottawa and the Kings. That one really don't. No, I appeal to the, the playoffs. Uh, oh, yeah, March going... 12th, that'll be the uh, Predators in Toronto, for those of you wondering. It'll be a 6 uh, p.m. Central uh, puck drop. Yep. Uh, don't forget to check it out. Speaking of checking things out at places... You should check us out on YouTube, by the way, to watch our videos. Give us some likes and uh, subscribes and all that. Yep, and speaking of checking out places, also check out Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, They're more... good people. They Mo really are. Milwaukee's number one stop shop for all your hockey needs. And uh, they will outfit you from head to toe. Don't forget that you can go there anytime and drop off your skates with a little bit of contact info. And uh, and how you want them sharpened, uh, and you, it, he will get back to you as soon as they are done. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. And this is Christopher Drives. And we will see you guys. Well, I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Um, the Admirals are taking on the San Antonio Rampage at 10.30 in the morning. And Which unfortunately, means... I won't be at that game because I'm usually sleeping at that time. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.